Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. Uh, last episode, or last two episodes, I should say, we set up the large heat exchanger and a couple turbines, and uh, we are storing up a whole bunch of power now. You can see almost 3 billion, so it's going up pretty fast, and uh, even more so with the solar panel we have up there. Um, so that is working pretty well. Now, one thing we didn't deal with, and that is, uh, obviously we know the lava comes in, turns it into steam, and then it outputs cold lava, or the Pahoho lava. And I put a tank up here, and as we can see, we already have 4 million buckets, so it's just voiding all the lava. Um, so I figured, why don't we go ahead and build something to deal with that? I thought it'd be kind of cool if we build a large centrifuge to get all the things out of it. Now, fortunately, I kind of built this not thinking I would add another uh, multi-block in here. Um, but I was thinking if I put it like right here, then I could just pipe it out directly into the centrifuge. Um, so I'm probably going to do that. I, Looking back, I probably should have put this maybe like one over maybe but oh well. maybe i'll end up moving it eventually but i i kind of wanted to have the like the two turbines equal distance in between so i don't know i think if we just put it right here next to it that'll be fine um now there's two machines that we could deal with this or built to deal with this and one is oh i forgot to get that uh, one is this thermal boiler so it says you can put the thermal boiler in there and you'll actually get steam out of it as well and you get byproducts if you put the lava filter in and uh, i did some testing and if you put the pohoho lava in the thermal boiler you do not get all these you don't get these byproducts you get uh, i think electrum bronze and obsidian from Poho Lava. Um, if you put regular lava in, you will get these byproducts. So I don't think, um, I don't think I'm gonna do the thermal boiler. I was kind of hoping to do that one because it's different. Um, but if we look at the, uh, is that right? Yeah. Uh, we can centrifuge it. Now we can either do a uh, just a small centrifuge which will work fine or we could do a large centrifuge and I thought why not just go ahead and build a large centrifuge haven't built one yet um, it may be a bit of a waste just to get some byproducts I'm basically just trying to get um, tantalum tantalum is the most annoying part and it's a very small chance so and you do get some tungstate old 10 actually there is i use actually quite a lot of that stuff now that i'm looking at it so yeah i may need to come up with a way to deal with the nuggets though so that's another thing we could probably look into um, but let's go ahead and check out the recipe here so it's going to be this one so i can now i th I think we do like Inconel, I, yeah, Inconel 792, no, ooh, we don't have that one, I don't think. What's the 792 recipe? Nickel, Niobium, Nichrome, I feel like I've done that before. Yeah, maybe not. All right. So it looks like we're going to have to come up with a couple more recipes here. Seems like every multi-block has new things. I know I haven't done this one. Marriaging steel. Yeah, I've never done this one for sure. 
All right, so what else do we need? Centrifuge casings. I'm assuming they're probably going to use the same. Yeah. And Tobago, which we do have. All right, so why don't we go ahead and I will start crafting up the stuff. I'll probably make some recipes for these. And it looks like we need to craft molecular cyclone here. Uh, so yeah, let me craft some of the stuff and we will be back. All right, I got most of the stuff here. I haven't gotten the uh, centrifuge uh, casings or whatever they're called. Because um, I haven't figured out. I figured why not just like build part of it and then we'll figure out uh, how many we need. All right, so let's go put this thing together and figure out kind of how many casings we're looking at. Actually, I have six and it's a three by three by three. I could probably just figure it out like that. So I need uh, 20, 26. This is hollow, right? I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm guessing it's hollow. So three by three by three is 27 uh, minus the one in the middle is 26. And I have six things here. So I guess I need 20 of those. All right, so let me uh, finish crafting this up. I didn't even think about uh, that would probably be easier. All right, there we go. That actually wasn't too bad. I have all the things on autocraft, basically just <laughs> asked for it. Um, yeah, so that wasn't too bad. Um, let's go ahead and put this thing together then. All right, so I guess we'll just do, we look down here, I just, kind of rearranged a little bit. I just ended up um, bringing the IV line over here and then a transformer on the end. Um, I would rather, well, I don't know how fast this is gonna go. <laughs> so that is one problem. I don't know if this is gonna be like tearing through this or what. Um, so I guess we'll just throw the EV energy hatch there. And put these here. This is kind of weird. Usually these are for like the inside of the machine. So it's kind of weird to see this, these on the outside. Right. I'm assuming this is just built like any other. I don't know if that's gonna work. Uh, where do we want to? I guess I'll have the output. Where is the... Here. Yeah, I'll just do that on the... Well, I could probably do it underneath, couldn't I? If I wanted to. Yeah, we'll just hide that. So this will be the output for the items. And then I'll just do, like, an input or... Yeah, I'll probably do an input there. I probably won't do an interface. Although, I think the interface is faster. It just, uh, it clogs up the thing with patterns. Like when I'm trying to put patterns in, it just adds more to that. So I don't, I don't think I'll do that. Um, where do I want to put the muffler? Uh, probably hello right there. And input hatch, I'm assuming I can put this anywhere, so I'll put this on top. Yeah, see, I don't know if that's gonna work. Usually I put them right by the front. But on this machine, I don't know if that's gonna work. Let's put this. Is this? Uh, 
Wait, I put this in the wrong spot. <laughs> That's why I'm getting confused here. There. I could put... Should I just do that? Or should I... Yeah, why don't I just move that up one and then... That's the hatch. This is the transformer, right? Yeah. That's the input. Steps down. All right. All right, so there we go. And then, like I said, I'll put the input hatch on top and then just probably, oops, not in there. Um, pipe the fluids in directly, I guess. Oops. What did I completely... How did I miscount that many <laughs> things? That makes no sense. Am I crazy? There's 9, 18, 27 total, and I had six other th or six other things. How am I short like eight of these? That makes no sense. Alright, so that was hubris. I was <laughs> I put an extra layer of casings down below. I don't know what I was thinking there. Yeah, so I was doing a layer underneath. It's been a long day. All right, so that's better, I think. So I still ended up with an extra one. All right, does this have to be built in a specific way? Because none of the things say anything. Controller, front center, you need 10 casings. I have more than that. Wonder, does this need to be like on top maybe? I don't know. Let me kind of fool around with this a bit and see if I can get this. Oh, I was missing. Man, I am like failing all sorts of stuff here. Where did that go? Right, I think I think we maybe got it here. So let's put this here up there. This here. All right, so there we go. <laughs> that was entirely way too complicated uh for my brain. Although it was just a basic multi-block. For some reason I was having some serious issues with that. Go ahead and do the usual. I miss crowbar. No? That one? Yeah. All right. So everything is set here. 
I didn't test if you could put this like in the front. I mean, according to the tooltip, you can. But uh, yeah. All right. So we got this. The, we'll put the that lava in here. Um, I guess we'll leave. I guess we'll leave the tank there. Um, we'll see if we like if we're draining it like completely. Then I'll just get rid of it. I don't really need it up there. I don't think. Um, but I do need like a pump. Like, oh look, we already have a pump. Nice. So we'll do that, and then what kind of pipes do we want? I have no idea how fast this is going to be, so stainless steel was kind of a good one. But we do like these. Shoot, I don't remember how many we need. Five? Maybe five? Yeah, I can't see it. I don't remember. So like one, two, three, four, five, I think. Just kind of trying to visualize off the blast smelter there. And that should be enough, 72. I mean, this can pump way more than that. We'll see um, how fast it goes through it. But I'm glad uh, I have the extruder to make those much faster. All right, so put a pump on there. It'd probably be easier if I do it on the actual pipe. So we just do that there. It makes it easier to reach it. Input. All right, so there is the lava. And I was off with that one as well. I couldn't remember how high this was. I couldn't remember like how many, how tall. All right, I forgot to look. Did that, I'm assuming that's in there, right? Yeah, all right. So in theory, if I turn this on, we should be getting the, yeah. All right, so it's running. I'm curious how much this actually uses. It is using 1700, but I mean, power is not that big of a deal really anymore. All right, so there we go. That is going through the Pahoho lava. And there we go, there's our tansel. And that is the main reason I wanted to do this. Now the question is how fast is this going through this lava? All right, it is going through it faster than we are producing it, but we're just barely. So eventually, once that empties out, I'll probably replace it. Um, but I probably should turn this off before this starts filling up. But as we can see, this is a pretty great source of quite a lot of stuff we need. Okay, why did that turn off? All right, why did that turn off? Is it not getting the power? Hmm. Is this not getting power or something? No, it has power. I have no idea why that turned off. Interesting. Anyway, well, I wanted it to turn off. <laughs> Um, because I didn't want the to start voiding, but I need to set up something to package all of it. So maybe that is the next thing I need to build uh, to deal with all these nuggets. Yeah, it's still got that. I have no idea why I turned off. Did something like fill up? I mean that I've, it should just void it. Hmm. 
Interesting. Let me uh, figure this out and we will be back. All right, so I hooked up my AA system and started pulling out all the stuff and it turned back on again. So I don't know if it looks like if this is full, like if you have a full stack of each thing, I guess. Um, or one of them, maybe it was one of them was full. I didn't, I could turn, let's test it again. Here, let's just, we'll break that and turn it off. Um, but yeah, it looked like it turned off. I don't, when one of them filled up, I have no idea actually. Um, but we'll let that kind of run. But as we can see, this is producing a whole heck of a lot of materials here. So I think we need to figure out a way to process all this. Watch now, it like, won't turn off again. So we got copper, tantalum, tin, gold, silver. So one, two, three, four, five, and then the tongue state. I'm curious, like, which one <laughs> seemed to turn it off. I don't know. Watch it. Like, it won't turn off now. Oh, there it goes. All right. So it looks like... I have no idea. Because, like, tin nuggets can go there. Gold, silver can go there. Copper can go there. Tongue state. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. Must be a bug or something. So this will empty it out and will it turn it back on? I really need to put a elevator over here. Yeah, see it turned back on again. So I don't know, something, when this fills up, something is telling it to turn off, which I guess that's not terrible. It won't void stuff, but uh, yeah. All right, so how do we want to deal with all the inputs here? Because obviously we can't just like put them in a crafting grid and, um, and this is getting me so many materials, holy cow. Like I can't just do that and get ingots. Um, there is a packager, let me, what am I trying to do? Copper, let's see, copper nugget. Hmm. Apparently there are six different types of nuggets. <laughs> Not annealed. So if we do this, uh, I don't think you can compress it down into ingots. It has to go through... The alloy smelter, so like the yeah, the six nuggets with the ingot cast will get you an ingot. So I may have to do it like that. Um, I was hoping there would maybe be like a packager, but yeah, that is for dust. If it was copper dust. Like if we do these. Yeah, so if we did that, we could do like the nine dusts in a packager with the, the schematic to get us dust. Um, but since this is ingots or nuggets, I keep calling it ingots. Yeah, since these are nuggets being taken out of here, we're going to have to throw this through a alloy smelter. Or pulverize these down, but I'm getting so much. Like they're coming in so fast. Like, um, won't be able to keep up with that unless I do like one each. Hmm. All right. Let me figure out how I want to go about and do this, and uh, we will come back. And we are back, and I have decided to try a little something a little different. We'll see how it goes. I have no idea if it's gonna work. Um, but I could do the, um, I could do an alloy smelter, but that is not very fast. And I would have to do like multiple, and that's definitely a possibility. Um, 
But I thought, why not try something a little different and see if this works. And if I can remember, yeah, molds. I can never remember if they're molds or forms or what they're called. Um, I figured, why not, how about we try with the blast smelter doing something a little different here. And we have an empty. Yeah, that's probably not the best place for that. Let's try here. I'm going to put a, another input bus right there. And we're going to put a thing in there. And I need a circuit of 19. We'll put that in there. And then we can put some ingots in here. Or the nuggets. Let's try, I don't know. Let's do copper. <laughs> I turned it off because I was getting so much. <laughs> so I did turn off the, uh, the centrifuge. All right, that. there we go. How about two stacks? We'll try this. Actually, how about we do two stacks minus? All right, so that's like an even amount. So in theory, if I put this in here, it should smelt it. I may need to, there we go, it is on. All right, so as we can see, that is much faster than pulverizing or anything. Um, now, the one issue with this is if I actually need it, um, obviously this is going to be running, so I can't have the other recipes, but I don't use those very often. Usually just when I'm building a multi-block uh, do I use that. Um, but we should have molten copper now. Somewhere in here. Yeah, molten copper. Let's go ahead and do that. Now let's go ahead and set up another thing. I had a, I think when I was on the that planet, I picked up a advanced fluid solidifier. Now this is EV, but this recipe doesn't use a whole lot of power. So I think I can actually run it off HV. Um, I think I can actually run it off the HV power. And I should have enough channels over here. I think this is on its own dedicated. Yeah, I think I have enough channels to add 32 on the side. Um, but I figure, let's go ahead and try this and see what happens. I have no idea if this is, how fast this is gonna be, if this is even gonna work with an EV machine. Um, where did I put that? Oh, right. Wait, didn't I? Where did I put that? Oh, it's in there. Okay, so I need two of those because I need one in here for this, don't I? That's a bit weird, that recipe, now that I'm thinking about it. I actually needed two of those. Where are we? So many different types of steel, I can never find it. And we're probably going to need a... Um, I might need an acceleration card on that import bus. I have no idea, actually. You'll... There it is. This is a bit annoying because I need this, but it pulls it out too fast usually. Oh, I actually got it. I didn't... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Apparently you can put those on the side of a block. Where is this? Right, so that'll be the form. Nope. I got it wrong again. Needs the quadruple, but that needs to go in the circuit of one. Hold. Yeah. Alright, I should have had this done. Uh, before I started recording, but yeah, I messed that up a little bit. All right. 
So this hopefully will work. Put this back. All right, so I got, yeah, I got copper nuggets. Oh, wait, no, yeah, that's right. I need the, this, this is what I was talking about. So the molten, go in there. I just realized I need to put the power on top. <laughs> this needs to go on the bottom or the side. We'll probably, I'll just do the side, I think. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah, because of that it is right there. So it's going to be in the way. And that's, I don't like that. But, oh, well, for now, it's fine. All right, that's there. I think I did some electrum. Yeah. All right, so let's see if this will work with the EV power. All right, it does. I don't know. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need a acceleration card in there. Now, the only problem with this is if we have a lot of, like, if I... It's only going to be able to do one type because I don't, first of all, like this is going to like, unless I have a perfect amount, it's not going to work. Um, it won't be able to put like tantalum or whatever it, so I could do a couple, but I, th then the question is, is this going to, uh, it might actually go through it fast enough. I don't know. I'm going to have to do a little bit of testing here. Oh, I have. I forgot I had that on me. All right, so that appears to be going actually pretty dang fast. Uh, but like I said, until I get like an exact amount, now I could do possibly like filters, uh, buffer, I think it is. Aren't they called like buffers? Yeah, so maybe that is something I could think about possibly doing. So it only sends. I would have to do some testing on this because I don't think I've ever actually used these. Um, but maybe we can figure something out that it only sends nine nuggets, possibly, to the blast smelter. Either that or I just craft or five of these I think would be another thing but I think the fluid solidifier with the blast melter I think that is definitely faster than trying to send nuggets through a an alloy smelter the single block like if we do if I set up five of these I don't know I kind of like the other way it's a little different than what you know, um, I do. Um, but anyway, that's about wrapping up point for this episode. Uh, as we can see, I'm doing really well on power here. Um, I would like to upgrade the power substation. And I need to get a bunch of tungsten steel. If I remember, you need four each. Redox, 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 I think they're called. Let's see. Yeah, we need, oh, we need 36 each times 18. So what are we looking at? 36 times 18 is 648 tungsten and a whole lot of helium. Uh, let's see. That's going to tear through my tungsten, unfortunately. 
but eh, I gotta do it, so might as well get that going. And uh, yeah, next episode we will upgrade that. I also scanned a helium so I can actually create helium with my replicator here. Twenty-five seconds per thousand. So, and I think it only uses. I can't remember. Helium. What are we looking at? Yeah, four. So I mean, it's so cheap to replicate this stuff and helium. All right, that's a bit of an issue though. <laughs> Uh, it produces the liquid version of it, um, but I was planning on, I think I have one more, yeah, I have another channel, but, uh, I could kind of finagle this to get this out. I would probably connect, what I want to do this. Maybe connect this to that and then have this separate. So uh, I'll work that out. Um, I'll get the helium going uh, with replicating. I will get the tungsten all cooked up here. And next episode we'll come back. We'll upgrade that and maybe get into... Um, I don't know what we're going to do next episode. I want to possibly look into getting the next tier of circuits. I do the quantum line. And I would really like to take a look at the crystal line of circuits, if I can find them. So, yeah, we'll take a look at this and see what is kind of required to get this. But anyway, that's going to be it for today. So thanks for watching and have a good one.